All right, what's up, guys? We're here at a JB Performance new location, and we're back on the dyno with the uh, Red C6, as you can see there. This is the car that has the uh, BTR Stage 4 cam and the new uh, BTR Equalizer 3 intake. So we finally did all the modifications that we needed to to install it and get it to work. And now we're finally going to get to do the final tune and see what it does. Um, first things uh, I noticed was that it does sound, the car itself, a lot uh, louder. I don't know if a lot, but definitely it sounds louder. It has a, a, a like a raspier tone to it. I didn't expect the intake to change the sound of the car, but uh, maybe it did. Anyway, in just a bit, we're hooking it up right now. We're gonna do some pulls, see what she does. So uh, just to show you guys the install really quick, came out clean. Um, one of the things that we mentioned last time was that we had to get a, uh, a valley cover that does not have the PCV provision there because it was hitting the intake. So we got one that deletes that uh, and we have the low profile bolts on there. So since we, we're not pulling a, a crankcase uh, you know, pressure out of there, so we're venting it through the, uh, the valve cover with a Mighty Miles catch can. And uh, the intake has a regular vacuum provision. Um, it came out clean, uh, fuel rails look nice. We did have to do some minor trimming to the cowl. I don't know if you can see it in there. Uh, but we did have to cut um, some little notches for the intake to fit. So it's not, it's not exactly a bolt-on on the C6. You are gonna have to cut a little bit out the cowl, but it's nothing that you should even be able to see. Uh, so this car's on E85. You see the, the line came out pretty clean. Um, crossover fuel lines back there, you can't even see it. So pretty clean install. Uh, we, we kept all the stock EVAP lines. So all of that is like stock. Um, the uh, manifold uh, pressure sensors right there, the map. We got the heat shield on this time on the intake. And uh, we have the, uh, uh, what's that? One of the, the PCV provisions for the, um, for the oil uh, tank. And, and that's it. Actually, it's not the oil tank. I was, I was talking like if it's a dry sump. That's just one of the uh, PCV lines for, for fresh air. So everything, um, with a little bit of massaging and stuff, it'll, everything will bolt on. Uh, so if you have a stock car, you can keep all the lines and make everything work. So as you can see, it's a pretty clean install. It's a nice looking intake. Uh, fits in there nicely, you know, once you've, you've made the changes uh, that, that you gotta do. Another option is sh shorter motor mounts. That'll bring the intake a little lower for it to, to fit better. That's an option too. So we just finished strapping it up. And in a few minutes, we'll get on with the tuning.
Alright guys, so as you saw, we just did some pulls. The car sounded very mean, but here's the skinny. Um, at the top, it made the same, 503 horsepower. This is versus the, the last dyno run from a few weeks ago on my first video. It was 503 that it maxed out. Um, yeah, I think that's what it is, 503. So the top end is the same. However, the blue line is the BTR. Well, the red line is my ported LS3. That is a 44 horsepower difference. Now, sorry, we don't we don't have RPM yet. That's at 110. I'm gonna say that's uh, probably 50, between 5,500 and 6,000 yeah. RPM around there. Yeah, 52, yeah, yeah. 5500. That's probably where where you would intersect with the uh, the torque. So you're already losing 40 pound, uh, 40 horsepower there, which means you're probably losing even more torque yeah. than that. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that's what we learned. And uh, we'll, we'll go from boost. there. We're gonna we're gonna do it on boost. This car's gonna get an A and A kit. And we'll go from there, but if you're NA, there you go. All right, guys. Well, that um, that does it for this this uh, round of testing that we did of the BTR Equalizer 3 intake versus uh, my ported, uh, my race port LS3 intake um, with my radius rods in them. Uh, as you saw, the car with the BTR intake lost uh, over 40 horsepower, I think it was 44 horsepower in the mid-range. Um, and it lost everywhere. It made the same at peak at, at 6,800 RPM. They both made 503 horsepower, but the BTR lost everywhere else. So the same car with both intakes, um, you know, probably would have lost by half a car or so on that one. That's it's a it's a big loss, man. 40 horsepower. So I'm imagining that it lost at least the same amount of torque. Uh, so that sucks, man. Because I I really like the BTR intake. I like how it looks. Um, I have one. Uh, not on my car, but I have one. And second. You know, I, I'm I'm also kind of excited. I'm I'm happy to see how my ported intake is performing. So bittersweet, you know. Now um, the next step for this car is a pro charger. So obviously, when you're forcing air in there, you know he might not miss those 40 horsepower. And you know later on, they'll probably be in a few months. We'll do another test and have it on the dyno where we'll have that intake you know, supercharge and, and see how it does. But anyway, that's it for now. Uh, C6 with uh, ported heads, uh, stage four, BTR cam, uh, and the equalizer three intake. 503 rear wheel horsepower, uh, but lost a lot of power to the stock ported intake. So um, this was a learning experience. Uh, there was a learning curve you know, learning how to install it in the car and do all of that. Um, but, you know, so we, we, we got something out of it. You know, anytime you learn something, it, it's worth it. Uh, customers happy still. The car makes a lot of power. The car's still fast. It sounds mean. And um, like I said, he's going to go supercharged anyway. So he's happy with the looks, with, with the performance. Sounds mean. Stock Z06 muffler. So he's happy with it because he's gonna make more power. Anyway, we uh, we hope to bring you more videos like this. We're at our, our new location. We got a lot more space. We got a lot of stuff to do. Got to move a lot of uh, junk out of here and then bring our junk in here. So uh, in the next few weeks, are gonna be a little chaotic as we move around. But um, as you saw, we have a lot more tools to be able to. Uh, do a lot more things, test a lot more things, and bring that info to you guys, and uh, at the very least, maybe entertain you with a couple of videos.
Anyway, that's it for now. See you guys soon.